do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. In the Bible you read in Mark 9, 23, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Life is like the changing seasons. One of the best ways to describe life, it's like the seasons. You cannot change the seasons, but you can change yourself. And see, that's how life gets better for you. Not by chance, but by change. Human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. We need only in cold blood act as if the thing in question were real, and it will become infallibly real by growing into such a connection with our life that it will become real. It will become so knit with habit and emotion that our interest in it will be those which characterize belief. If you're going to have a good attitude, you have to do it on purpose because there will be all kinds of negative things that try to creep in. Bitterness, discouragement, self-pity. If you're not proactive, if you don't choose the right attitude, then the wrong attitude will show up. The moment you change the frequency that your tower emits, the moment you change that frequency, different things come back to you. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. The power of your mind, the power of your thoughts has tremendous ability to shape your life for good or for bad. And if you accept the thought, if growing up somebody said to you, you're worthless, you're no good, you don't matter, you're ugly, you're uncoordinated. If you accepted that fact, whether it was right or wrong, it shaped your life. Attitude is defined as the position or bearing, as indicating action, feeling, or mood. And it is our actions, feelings, or moods which determine the actions, feelings, or moods of others toward us, and which, to a surprising extent, are success or failure. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Albert Einstein once observed that uh, you have the most fundamental and major decision that you have to make in your life is this. Do I live in a friendly or a hostile universe? Which is it? Is it a universe that is filled with hostility and anger and people wanting to hate each other and people wanting to kill each other? Is that what you see? Because when you see the world that way, that's exactly what you will create for yourself in your life. At any single moment, you can change your life. Step one, make a decision. And that decision might just be, you don't want what you got. Not this job, not this relationship, not where you live, not this friend group. That's enough. Make a decision that you want to change. Step two, create a vision. What do you want? Create a vision for yourself. Step three, make it your mission to make that vision a reality. And that's just gonna take a little bit of discipline. Figure out what changes you need to make and wake up every day and do it. The fight is in your mind. So I wanna challenge you to waste no more effort wrestling with other people. Your future is not predicated on the decision of someone else. You wasted too much of your life trying to change other people's mind about you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. God is not going to bless you by their opinion. God is going to bless you by how you see yourself. An unmanaged mind leads to tension. A managed mind leads to tranquility. An unmanaged mind leads to pressure. A managed mind leads to peace. An unmanaged mind leads to conflict and chaos. A managed mind leads to confidence. An unmanaged mind leads to stress. 
If you don't manage your thoughts, you just let them go all over the place. You don't ever even try to control your mind and the way you direct your thoughts. You're going to have an enormous amount of stress in your life. But a managed mind leads to strength and leads to security and leads to serenity.